Spiritual dryness characterizes a sense of emptiness or depletion, often accompanied by a feeling of distance from God or lack of spiritual progress. However, what may be perceived as spiritual dryness could actually be a transitional period in the spiritual realm, a time of change and growth. During such times, without a deep understanding of scripture, individuals may erroneously believe they have lost their connection with God, leading to self-condemnation and unnecessary guilt over perceived sins. It's important to recognize that spiritual dryness is not always caused by sin. God remains constant and unchanging, unaffected by emotional fluctuations. True faith relies on the unwavering truth of God's word regardless of feelings or circumstances. This is why Paul could proclaim, When I am weak, then I am strong. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. If you find yourself experiencing spiritual dryness despite having faith stirring up the power of God through prayer and fasting can reignite your spiritual fervor. However, if spiritual dryness persists, it may be as a result of spiritual attacks aimed at dampening your enthusiasm of God and His ways. In such cases, prayer becomes essential to combat these attacks and rejuvenate your spiritual vitality. Regardless of the cause, faith and prayer have the power to restore your sense of spiritual vigor and intimacy with God. Before we pray, I urge you to consider liking this video to help others acknowledge its value. If you are new here, welcome! Feel free to subscribe for more prayers tailored for you on this channel. So join me as we pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for being ever present in the lives of your children. Thank you for your presence is constant regardless of their feelings. I thank you for being with your children now and always in Jesus name. As it's written in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5, God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Thank you, dear Father, for your Son, Jesus Christ, who is the living water, just as those who drink from him shall never thirst again. As your children have partaken of this living water, I declare that they shall never thirst again in Jesus' name. This is according to John 3, 14. But whosoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And so, brethren, I pray that the Lord pours out His Spirit afresh upon you, igniting a revival and fresh fire within you in Jesus' name. I proclaim that your spirit is revitalized and your heart is once again yearning and seeking after the Lord in Jesus' name. Psalm 63 verse 1 says, You God are my God, earnestly will I seek you. I thirst for you in my whole being, longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. So I affirm that you are empowered with inner strength by the Spirit. According to the prayer in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. I pray that the Lord breathe afresh upon you and let the passion for his presence consume you once again in the name of Jesus. I declare that light is shining upon you anew and your heart is receptive to the revelation of the word of the Lord through the spirit of grace and holiness in the name of Jesus. I declare that your spirit is drawn once again to the word and your hunger and thirst for prayer and the word are ignited in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 15, 16 says, When your words came, I ate them. They were like joy in my heart's delight, for I bear your name. Lord God Almighty, I pray you receive life and fervor into your spiritual life through the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Now so declare that you are alive in Christ 
nourished by the word and empowered by the spirit stand up for righteousness i pray that you eagerly receive a fresh touch from the father igniting within you the fervor to overcome obstacles and accomplish great feats in the name of jesus i pray that you experience a fresh and feeling of the holy spirit and as a result you exhibit the fruit of joy singing and rejoicing in your heart unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. I proclaim that the Spirit of God is being poured out upon you from on high, causing every aspect of your life that resembles as a wilderness to be saturated with the rain of the Spirit and transformed into fruitful ground in the name of Jesus according to Isaiah 32 verse 15. The Spirit is poured out on us from a high, and the desert become a fertile field, and the fertile field seems like a forest. The season of drought is coming to an end in your life. Your soul and your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Joel 2.23 says, Be glad, people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for He is giving you the autumn rains because He is faithful. He sends you abundant showers both autumn and spring rains as before. I ask for an outpouring of the spirit of grace and supplication upon you, brother and sister, ignite and fire and power in your prayer life in the name of Jesus, according to Zechariah chapter 12 verse 10, and I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and supplication. I reject every attempt of hell to disrupt and hinder your prayer life decreeing that it shall not succeed in the name of Jesus and I apprehend every spiritual assault orchestrated against you by the enemy to diminish the impact of your testimony and weaken your spiritual confidence through negative thoughts and feelings of inferiority in the name of Jesus. No matter the arrows of doubt and weakness aimed at your mind by the devil, I decree that they shall not prosper in your life in the name of Jesus. According to Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against you will prosper and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of God and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. I affirm over your life in the name of Jesus that you are governed by the word of God and the spirit rather than by your emotions and thoughts in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that your thoughts and emotions are under the control and influence of the Holy Spirit of grace and holiness. In Jesus name I declare that your thoughts are aligned with the mind of Christ and your will and emotions are surrendered to the leading of the Holy Spirit. I declare that your mind is under the complete rule and governance of the Spirit. Therefore, I reject any weaknesses and lies from the enemy that are being directed towards your mind. According to the word of God in Romans chapter 8 verse 6, the mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. I place a God over your mind, refusing to allow condemnation doubt anxiety and unbelief to take root in it in the name of jesus the battle against confusion and spiritual passivity will not prevail over your mind as i rebuke them in the name of jesus i pray that you respond with the word of god in deuteronomy 31 verse 6 that says be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I address every attack of the enemy on your mind. Refusing to accept the lie that God has abandoned you. I declare that his presence is with you always. In the name of Jesus, I also reject spiritual apathy in your life. I pray that you refuse to believe that you are defeated. I pray that you activate God's life and power within you through faith and prayer in the name of Jesus. And I pray that your full responsibility for your spiritual growth and well-being, relying on the power of the Holy Spirit, actively works within you in Jesus' name. Even in moments of weakness, I declare strength for you. According to the word of the Lord, I proclaim that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus is operating within you, quickening you with spiritual vitality and health in body, mind and spirit. In the name of Jesus, as it is written, 
in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 2 because through Christ Jesus the law of the spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death I declare that you are alive in Christ and no weakness of mind or body can change that you shall always be strengthened by his spirit according to Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 which says I can do all things through him who strengthens me father we thank you for this renewed mind thank you for vitality and the rivers of water that are flowing through your beloved in the name of Jesus I pray Amen as I come before the Lord in prayer I'm grounded in the powerful promises found in this word in Mark 16 17 Jesus declares and these signs will accompany those who believe in my name they will drive out demons they will speak in new tongues and so this is my prayer for you that you may be fully aware of the authority granted to believers in the name of Jesus I like to lift you before God acknowledging the spiritual battles that may be waged against you God's word in Luke 10 verse 19 assures us, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. This is my declaration over you, that as you walk in the authority given by Jesus, empowered to trample over any demonic influence, you will find the answer and it shall respond to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And so I therefore rebuke any demonic forces that may be seeking to oppress or hinder you. I stand upon the promise that as you believe in Jesus, you have the authority to drive these demons out. The authority of the Lord is not limited by circumstances or challenges. It surpasses all powers of darkness. So I speak against any schemes or assignments of the enemy targeting you. I command every demonic influence to flee. God's word declares that if we resist the devil, he will flee from us. So I speak James 4, 7 to you and I confess as I stand with you in resisting any demonic presence. I declare the divine evacuation of every unclean spirit over your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for the full armor of God to surround you as mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. May you be equipped with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Let this armor be an impenetrable shield against the strategies of the enemy in your life. Just as Paul commanded the spirit to leave the possessed woman in Acts chapter 16 verse 18, I command any demonic influence to leave you right now. I speak freedom and deliverance over you. May God's light shine into every corner of your being, dispelling any darkness that may try to linger. I declare that you walk in victory because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The authority granted by Jesus is not based on our strength, but by the power of the Holy Spirit within us. And so I stand with full confidence as I pray for a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit empowering you to exercise the authority given you by Jesus. Luke 10 19 says that nothing will harm you and I claim this promise over you declaring that no weapon formed against you was prosper. I speak a hedge of protection around you making you untouchable by any evil force. In times of doubt and fear, I pray that you will lean on the truth of God's word. May you find solace in knowing that the authority to cast out demons is not just a distance promise, but a present reality. God's unwavering protection and the victory that is in Jesus works in you. And God's word is alive and active as it says in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, and it holds the power to break every chain. I declare you that as you trust, you are released from any and every bondage or influence of the enemy that walks in freedom and authority granted by the precious blood of Jesus. I come before the throne of grace, knowing that I am also reminded 
of the authority given to us through Jesus who conquered all powers and dominions as written in Acts 16, 18. The moment when Apostle Paul moved by the Spirit, commanded the Spirit to leave a woman and in that spirit of faith, I pray for you invoking the power of Jesus as I live to you before God, recognizing the spiritual battles that may be taking place in your life. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that they bow. And I speak as Paul spoke. And I declare any demonic influence or oppression over your life is broken by the power that's in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every unclean spirit, every assignment of darkness, and I command them to leave you in the name of Jesus. I stand on the promise of Matthew 17, 20, where Jesus speaks about the potency of faith even as a small master seed. Today, I place you before God, standing in agreement with you, believing that through faith, mountains can be moved and even the stronghold of demonic oppression can be shattered from your life. I pray for an increased faith that it may grow into a powerful force against spiritual hindrances in your life. I address any unclean spirit that may be afflicting your mind, body or spirit and I command them to flee in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus shed on the cross, we declare freedom from any and every chain or bondage over your life. It is written, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. May you experience the liberating power of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. As I pray for a release of God's healing power over every area of your life that may be affected by demonic influence. Let God's light dispel any darkness that seeks to linger. May the Lord grant you discernment to recognize and resist any deceptive spirit that may attempt to influence you. May your mind be filled with the truth of God's word and may the Holy Spirit guide you into all righteousness. I declare that the mind of Christ reigns supreme in your thoughts, casting down any imagination or lies that are from the enemy. In moments of weakness or doubt, may you be strengthened by the knowledge that God's Spirit dwells within and the same power that raised Christ from the dead works even in you. I declare that the Spirit of God remains a constant in your life and He becomes a constant source of comfort and empowerment in your life. Also pray for a protective hedge around you. God's Word affirms in Psalm 34 verse 7, the angel of the Lord encounters around those who fear Him and He delivers them. And so I ask that God's angels surround you, guarding you from any further attacks or spiritual opposition. May your life be a testimony to God's deliverance and the victory found in Christ. May the Lord fill your heart with peace that surpasses understanding. Let the assurance of God's love and protection be a shield against fear or anxiety in your life. As we declare victory over the forces of darkness, I give thanks to God for the triumph you have in Christ Jesus. In the mighty and conquering name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Bondages are incredibly harmful, serving as invisible chains that ensnare individuals in various detrimental ways. They inflict enduring delays and sorrow leading to captivity and spiritual imprisonment. Such periods prevent individuals from experiencing freedom and leave them vulnerable to relentless attacks. These shackles, wielded by the enemy and his cohorts, aim to stifle destiny, ensuring that progress remains elusive and exacerbating any attempts at advancement. Bondage represents a dare predicament obstructing blessings and impeding prosperity for individuals and their families. Under the weight of such bondage, progress, success and good news become elusive, perpetuating a cycle of stagnation. However, there is hope in Christ who grants victory over these entanglements as articulated in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. With this victory in mind, we can pray against the bondages that constrain you. 
Before we proceed, I want you to proclaim to the bondage you seem to find yourself in the comment section. Your power is broken, for in Christ I reign supreme over you. Also, I would like to encourage you to show support by liking this video as it can help others recognize its significance. If you're joining us for the first time, a warm welcome to you. Your presence here is not by chance. It's part of God's plan to assist you in overcoming delays. Don't hesitate to subscribe for more prayers specifically crafted for you on this channel. Let us pray this powerful prayer. As you agree with me father I express gratitude for the name and the blood of Jesus I thank you because this is my access to you and so my boldness is in you knowing that you will answer all of these prayers that we are raising before you we well, thank you for breaking every yoke in the life of your children as declared in Isaiah 10 27 and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing father I declare that may the blood of Jesus cleanse the foundation of everyone under the sound of my voice purifying it from every defilement in the name of Jesus according to Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God I command every hindering spirit causing delay in your life to perish by fire in alignment look chapter 10 verse 19 behold I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you I release the angels of the Lord to confront and trouble your persistent adversaries in accordance to Psalm 35 verse 5 let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them I nullify all malevolent dreams diverting your blessings as stated in Matthew 18 18 verily I say unto you whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven I pray that the Holy Spirit and the place where the enemy seeks to hide your destiny even now in the name of Jesus I sever the influence of demons assigned to bring death and sickness into your life I declare that you break free from the grip of evil forces controlling your family in the name of Jesus in accordance to Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has set us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage I pray that you retrieve your glory from the hands of the wicked aligning with Isaiah 59 verse 25 but thus says the Lord even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered I pray the power of God frustrates every challenge against you in line with Psalm 68 verse 1 let God arise let his enemies be scattered let them also that hate thee flee before you may you reject the spirit of doubt and impossibility hovering around you in the name of Jesus as I dismantle every generational limitation hindering your destiny in the name of Jesus every ancestral covenant binding you I command it to release you in the name of Jesus may the blood of Jesus cleanse you from every ancestral defilement I renounce and sever every covenant that binds you invoking the authority of Jesus' name I command every force hindering the manifestation of your destiny dreams to release its grip and perish in alignment with Isaiah 49 25 for thus says the Lord even the captains of the mighty shall be taken and the prey of the tyrant be rescued for I will contend with those who contend with you and I will save your children I declare that every power that is holding you captive be located and dismantled may the blood of Jesus annul every ancestral mark attracting persistent problems in your life and family in the name of Jesus 
I pray that every chains of captivity afflicting your family be broken. I decree the destruction of every demonic force aligned against you. According to Psalm 144, verse 7, stretch out your hand from on high, rescue and deliver me from the many waters from the hand of foreigners. I pray every generational curse and restriction placed upon you be shattered by the consuming fire of God's presence in the name of Jesus. May the blood of Jesus abolish every season of setbacks in your life as proclaimed in Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony for they loved not their lives even unto death. I declare, therefore, the incineration of every chain of disappointment hindering your destiny. Drawing from Psalm 107 verse 14, he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and burst their bonds apart. I pray that you claim your complete liberation from foundational powers and by the authority of the name of Jesus, I command the intervention of divine assistance in your life as declared in Psalm 46 verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I also declare Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 over you against the agents of the enemy that aim to hold you bound. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction but flee from you in seven. I declare that every enemy that seeks to bind you, every force of darkness that rises against you shall be defeated by the mighty hand of the Lord. I declare that you are surrounded with a hedge of the thorns and that repel the works of darkness in your life in the name of Jesus. May you repent of any sins or transgressions that may have opened the door for bondage in your life in the name of Jesus. And I join you to renounce every curse every stronghold and every demonic influence that seeks to keep you bound in the name of Jesus by that same authority vested in me as a child of the Most High I destroy every fetter every yoke of bondage that has been placed upon you I command them to be shattered I declare that you are released from every bondage of sin addiction fear and oppression I declare that you are no longer a slave to fear but a child of God redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus and thank you Lord Holy Spirit as you fill them afresh and empower them to walk in the liberty that Christ has secured for them I speak over you May you have the discernment and wisdom to recognize the schemes of the enemy and strength to resist him at every turn of your life's journey. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen.